Good morning students my name is Priyanka Gupta I am working as assistant professor in department of computer science and engineering data science department at institute of aeronautical engineering hyderabad so today i am going to start a new course that is natural language processing the paper code of this is ac ac 13 so what is the plan of this course Now the course is actually based on the outcome based education and i am going to discuss the course delivery what is the assessment process is there that is planned to achieve our objective stated objective and what are the outcomes we have to achieve i will also discuss uh, what is the uh, measuring students uh, performance are there that is on the based of outcome at the different level we are going to uh, achieve those that first is course outcome second is program outcome and third is program specific outcome so course outcome is nothing uh, about this course natural language processing what are the uh, objectives will there we are, we are going to just achieve those program outcome uh, of the btech uh, data science and the program specific outcome means for this program data science what are the specific three outcomes are there we will discuss and we will map the cos and pos according to that and also mapping of cos pos P, uh, we are going to also discuss the attainment about that so this is the plan this is the total course plan so that will be divided into the four step the first step is introduction second step is content third step is assessment four stage is resources so basically the introduction of the this course that is natural language processing it is having the different criteria the first is uh, we will talk about the course information i am going to talk uh, talk about my profile i am talk about i am going to talk about the what are the uh, different learning outcomes will be there in uh, what academic session we are going to complete this course what are the course objective and what are the clo and po mapping is there so these are the six objective we have to achieve in introduction of this course in the second step that is content that is a content delivery that will be divided into the three part the first is topic selection and alignment with clos second is teaching learning strategy so what are the strategy i'll uh, going to uh, make i'll discuss third is class schedule and lesson plan next step is assessment so when we are going to complete this program this course i am going to assist you uh, students so three strategies will be there to assist you the first is assessment uh, strategy second is i am going to apply the tool to assess you and third is what is the evaluation policy and grading system is there how to do that so these three things will be come here in the assessment part in the fourth content part Uh, we can say resources part from where we will take that so that is actually i am going to uh, dis uh, discuss about the different textbooks and reference books what are the different uh, learning uh, we can say websites can be there what are the different uh, mooc courses can be there to just support this all so i will discuss about those in this fourth step okay so uh, these are the steps of preparing the course outline Uh, first is the introduction to the course second is content third is assessment and fourth is resources so first is course overview what is this course all about so this course is basically the study of computing systems that is going to process understand and communicate in the human language so basically the natural language processing Uh, the course is actually uh, based on the natural languages we are going to uh, uh, we are going to get the human language and we have to convert those human language into the natural language this primary focus will be on the course that we are going to understand about the various nlp task and algorithms so how to apply how to achieve those 
uh, objectives. So on that, we will apply some of the models and algorithms for effectively solving these problems. And some methods that is going to evaluate, that is going to just check with the performance, how is that our model is working. So that is a primary focus of this course, basically. Now, secondly, uh, this course is intended to as a theoretical as well as with the methodological introduction. So it is most widely and effective current techniques uh, we are going to apply. We are going to apply is some strategies and the life, uh, the software toolkits for the natural language processing. So we are going to process human language with these all tools. So our primary focus will be there on those available in the Python programming language. So uh, we are going to actually uh, use the Python programming language to achieve this objective as a uh, NLP extraction. So uh, there uh, will be some prerequisite before starting this course. We should understand basically probability and statistics and programming, Python programming. So the course code for the pro probability and statistics is AHSC08 that will be introduced in the BTEC data science second semester. And the course Python programming, that course code is ACSC01 that is also will be introduced in the second semester of the BTEC uh, data science course. So uh, before uh, learning this NLP uh, course, we have to understand these basics. Now I am going to discuss about the different modules, different syllabus about this course. So what are the uh, topics I'm going to cover overall with this course? So actually, the syllabus has been divided into the five parts, five modules are there. The first module is classical approach to NLP. In that, I am going to discuss some of the topics. That is, first I'm going to discuss about what is actually NLP is introduction to NLP. What is the classical toolkit was earlier and what is the NLP toolkit is there? We've, I will also discuss about the knowledge in speech and language processing. How to process speech, how to process different languages. The ambiguities and models and algorithm. So ambiguity is nothing how the uh, one type of word will be just used uh, with the different, uh, we can say meanings. So that is the ambiguity. Uh, we will discuss about that and uh, what are the different models and algorithm uh, we can apply to process those human languages into converting to the natural language. Okay, so what is the understanding of the language? What is the linguistic? So, uh, of the suppose uh, in India we are using here uh, the English language to extract. Uh, uh, commonly. So we will discuss about the common, this common language grammar, what is the different basics of the grammar is there, what are the linguistics are there. So we will discuss here and we will understand the whole process. And then I will tell you about the brief history of the NLP, how the NLP has evolved, how it came into the picture. It was actually developed uh, uh, very earlier, but now we are going to use those commonly. So this all I'll discuss in the first module of the this syllabus. In the second module that is regular expression and text normalization. In that actually we are going to discuss about uh, regular uh, expression, how the pattern will be just written. What is the syntax of pattern to just extract the uh, natural language, okay? How we can extract some sentence and some uh, words from the one paragraph or sentence. So th that uh, basics of the regular expression I'm going to discuss with you. I'm going to discuss about what actually pattern is called, how we can write the pattern, what are uh, the, what will be the words uh, in the language, in, in uh, NLP language processing, what will be the corpora. So corpora is nothing here. Corpora is a actually collection of document where all the document will be kept. And from there we can use those document um, and we can extract different paragraphs and sentences as words from there. We, we will also going to discuss about uh, text normalization, minimum edit distance. So what is minimum edit distance uh, between the two uh, words? What is the 
डिस्टेंस इज देर वॉट इज एक्चुअली विच ऑफ द वर्ड्स वी आर गोइंग टू टेक फ्रॉम द होल पैराग्राफ इफ सम वर्ड्स आर कॉमन सो we will discuss about the theory of that and what is the different formulas to extract those uh, distances i'll also discuss about the regular language and finite state automata so that is a basics uh, of the automata we will discuss why because i am going to use those uh, while we are going to extract the different words and patterns i'll also discuss about the raw text extracts and tokenization so a uh, raw text extraction is nothing but uh, when we are going to just extract some of the words from a uh, one sentence a paragraph okay uh, very basically and the tokenization is nothing when the words will be um, just uh, from the one sentence will be taken as a, a token so that is uh, called as a tokenization next topic is i'll discuss about the extracting terms from the tokens so how we can uh, extract the different terms from those tokens and the normalization process so this all will be covered in the module 2 of the syllabus of natural language processing third module is ngram language models so actually uh, ngram models is nothing but the uh, that is actually going to extract the one word means a uh, unigram two words like uh, bigram three words a uh, trigram like that it is going to uh, uh, take out to model the different uh, ngrams from the paragraph or sentence so uh, we are going to apply as a model we have to write the code in python language and then we can extract those by the um, as a unigram trigram and uh, it can be more than that also okay so these are the ngrams are there we are going to evaluate those uh, language models how to uh, check the performance how is it working what is the uh, 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 what is our vision and how we are going to achieve the, those so i'll discuss about that generalization and zeros that will also be useful to understand to extract those models A smoothing process A smoothing is a technique so we are also going to discuss these these are all actually models and algorithm uh, based on the words and sentences how to just pre process those uh, okay nesser ne smoothing so that is a that is a actually method based on the smoothing technique hughes language model that is again uh, some other type of language model stupid back off uh, that is also based on those models some um, we can say a uh, back of process will be there to just extract those words from the sentence perplexity is relation to the entropy uh, this is also one type of uh, we can say formula to extract the words from the sentence next is inflection derivational morphology okay so morphology is basically the linguistic uh, language that um, that will be used to just uh, take the inflected words uh, inflex word is the basic root word and from there we can just derive different other type of word so these things we will uh, discuss here in inflection and derivational type of morphologies this is the two type of morphologies are there finite state morphological parsing so now here the finite state automata will be applied with the help of morphological parsing that is a one technique how that will be just represented in the form of finite state automata diagram okay next is the lexicon and morpho tactics that is again one type of a uh, diagram representation of the finite state automata uh, with that we can also this uh, extract the different lexicons and inflections uh, from the sentences and paragraphs morphological parsing with finite state transducers now so this is a different technique from the morphological parsing here the transducers will be introduced and that is again going to give you the uh, one type of diagram combining fst lexicon and rules so what are the different lexicons are there in the finite state automata and how we are going to um, combine those with the rules so that all i will discuss in this module 3 of this uh, course next module is module 4 that is having the word sense disambiguation what is that actually 
ambiguity is nothing but the when the word is having the different meanings for uh, in the one uh, paragraph or sentence so how to just extract those how to just differentiate those so here the, uh, the word since disambiguation is going to just remove those okay so we have to minimize those uh, disambiguities uh, so this this process is called as a disambiguation i will discuss here the methodological preliminaries i'll discuss about the dis supervised disambiguation in that some other type of models are there that is a bayesian based classification and information theoretic approach dictionary based disambiguation it, it is also having the disambiguation based on the sense theorus uh, based disambiguation disambiguation based on the translation in a second language corpus so these all the different type of uh, we can say methods are there to apply on the word says disambiguation so that is the uh, that was the uh, module 4 now in the module 5 of this course that is marco model and pos tagging are there so in that marco model is the advanced model in that actually different type of uh, algorithm will be applied uh, at once so that is having the more uh, types of uh, models that is hidden marker uh, model and that fundamental how the probability will be applied on those uh, uh, properties how the parameter est estimation will be work here what are the variants are there uh, multiple input observation are there the information sources in tagging so ps tagging will be used to just differentiate uh, the different uh, we can say tokens with the help of some uh, uh, some ps that is part of a speech means it is going to just uh, give you give the different word, same words as different names so suppose one word has been used uh, as a verb the one word has been used as a adjective one word has a used as a verb same word so these are uh, that with the ps tagging we are going to differentiate those tokens was not differentiated tokens was only giving the uh, words uh, in the form of token so here we can differentiate with the ps tagging so in the ps tagging uh, the marco model tag tag taggers i'll discuss the rtb algorithm i'll discuss applying how the mar uh, hidden marco model will be applied on that uh, to the ps tagging and what are the different applications of tagging will be used okay so these all will be discussed in the module 5 of the uh, this course that is natural language processing now uh, i am going to discuss about the what how i am going to do the assessment so there will be the some marks distribution when we will complete this course i am um, the course uh, going course is going to be evaluated in the form of 100 marks total 100 marks will be there with the 30 marks for the continuous internal assessment and that will be divided into the two parts the first uh, cie uh, will be there for the 10 marks and ci2 will be there for the next 10 marks that will be 20 marks will be there for the cie cia so that will be conducted in the um, for the two hours in uh, within the semester for two times in the eighth semester uh, eighth week and in the 16th week so two cis will be conducted in the eighth and 16th week now for the 70 marks there will be the uh, semester and examination that will be uh, conducted for the 3 hours duration so uh, likewise 30 30 marks and 70 marks will be distributed here Uh, i i uh, i will also uh, uh, tell you about how the next 10 marks will be divided the so next ma next 10 marks will be divided actually in the tech talk and um, concept videos so there concept in the concept video process also it has been now um, divided into the uh, uh, different categories that is uh, we can say uh, assessments or some other type of assessments are there okay so that 10 marks will be conducted for uh, uh, likewise that cie 1 and 2 in, uh, in within the semester two times so uh, that will be for the 5 5 marks so overall distribution of 100 marks i have discussed so ci uh, ci uh, will be conducted for the total 30 marks with uh, 30 marks for the ci 1 and 2 and 10 marks for the uh, that tech talk and concept videos right so here in the this table we can see the overall distribution of the this overall marks so 30 and 70 total 100 marks so what is the course objective of this course is so the student is going to learn 
uh, within the concept, the concept of the technique used in the natural language processing. How we are going to process those for analyzing words based on the morphology as well as for the corpus. So this was this will be the first learning. The second learning is the mathematical foundation and probability theory with the linguistic essential such as uh, as uh, sy uh, syntactic admin uh, syntactic and semantic uh, analysis of text. So these are the uh, some uh, linguistic will be applied on the words and we are going to. Uh, just understand the mathematical and probability process on that. The applications of statistical models and cutting is uh, research models from the deep learning. So this is the advanced world, uh, advanced applications we will learn uh, from this course. Now what are the course outcomes are there? So there are six uh, outcomes are there. So first outcome is remember the knowledge of complex language behavior in terms of phonetics as well as in the form of morphology. So this is the first um, course outcome there. We have as a student you have to just understand and remember the, the those points because that we have to recall also we have to learn the different basics of English grammar as well as any other lang uh, language grammar as well as the linguistic how it has been used. Second uh, course outcome is understand the semantics and pragmatics for the text processing. Now uh, we are going to uh, discuss about the text processing, text pre-processing. So here the basics of the uh, morphology we have to understand. I will discuss about the semantics and pragmatics uh, that is a morphology techniques, uh, linguistic techniques for the text processing. So uh, now uh, as a student, we need to understand those. The third course outcome is we have to apply the corpus linguistic to compile the uh, text um, based on the digestive approach. And also we have to analyze those. So for the text uh, corpus method, uh, on the text corpus method, uh, I am going to tell about these things. And as a student, you have to apply the different corpus linguistic to achieve the uh, those goals. Now the fourth course outcome is that is understand various statistical approaches to the machine learning for a given natural language. So here the models is going to come into the picture. We have to apply the different machine uh, learning uh, models with the help of Python programming. And what are the different statistical uh, methods are there, approaches are there, we are going to apply and we are going to understand those, how it is going to work as overall application. The next course outcome is apply part of speech tagging for a given natural language and suitable model techniques based on the structure. So here, the uh, you students, you need to just understand the basics of POS tagging. What are the different types of POS taggings are there? How we are going to just uh, apply those with the help of machine learning model to extract the different words. So. From the corpus of sentences, we are going to apply those. Next outcome is apply the state of art algorithm and techniques for the text-based processing of natural language with respect to morphology. Now, uh, we need to understand the uh, different algorithm and techniques based on the natural language processing with the help of morphology. Uh, those things we have to uh, learn here the, as a model we have to apply those techniques here. So these six type of course outcome uh, I have said so we have we need to just achieve those all after completion of this course. This is the COPO mapping with the PO and PSOs okay. So uh, how the CEOs, uh, the uh, to overall six CEOs will be mapped with the, the overall POs that is 12 and overall POs, uh, uh, POSOs that is uh, 3. So that all how it is going to be just uh, mapping with the, uh, that how it, uh, here CO1 will be mapped with the CO1, here uh, CO1 will be mapped with the PSO1. Likewise that the goal will, will be achieved. How we are going to just achieve the different goals with the help of uh, program outcomes. Right. Now I'll talk about the different uh, resources uh, uh, to understand about this um, subject more deeply. So uh, we can take help of the different uh, textbooks and reference books. That is the 
first book i will recommend that is christopher d manning and henry scurds the book name is foundation of natural language processing so that is a very very uh, good book that is uh, from the mit press cambridge Mass massachusetts london and that is we have to just uh, take the latest version of that so that is a book i will recommend first second book i'll recommend that is the speech and language processing that is from the daniel jukarfi and james h martin so these two have uh, written this book and that is also a good book when we need to understand the different speeches uh, processing right so these two books i'll just recommend for this course next uh, i will uh, discuss about the different reference book those reference books are the handbook of natural language processing that is uh, uh, written by the nitin in durkia and fred j de mario second book is i will recommend natural language understanding that has been written by james allen that is from the pearson publication and third book is third reference book is the foundation of statistical uh, language uh, natural language processing that has been written by chris manning and henry jeskin so that is uh, that is actually uh, by the it uh, press cambridge so these are the three reference book you need to um, take help from for this uh, course these are the different other type of learning places can be there that there are some web references are there and um, one web page are there of our uh, institute of nautical engineering uh, web page is there that is akanksha portal so that is lms.iire.ac.in we can take help from there we can get the different uh, uh, notes regarding this uh, subject and we will uh, i i will also tell about the some of the new courses uh, that is available freely on the web so that is first is from the academia.edu that they are they have introduced the foundation of statistics and natural language processing course you can take help you can listen those uh, lectures and you will be benefited from that the next course is that is from the mygreatlearning.com and they have also having the natural language processing tutorial the third is that is from the pub.towardsci.net they are also having the natural language processing nlp with python tutorial for the beginners so uh, while we are going to um, just understand about the a practical uh, exposure of this uh, natural language processing uh, laboratories so we can take help from this uh, resource the next resource is uh, that is www.analyticsvidya.com so they are uh, they have introduced the basics of natural language processing nlp basics so by this course also we can take help we will get benefited next course is towards data science.com we will have the free hands on tutorials to get started in natural language processing so these five types of uh, web res uh, resources are there we can uh, get benefited from there so uh, that was all about this course that is natural language processing so uh, with the uh, help of the cos pos what are the course objective is there what is the outcome is there what is the program outcome is there how it has been mapped what is the um, syllabus is there uh, how what are the assessment tools will be there how, what will be the lecture plan lesson plan in the introduction the natural language processing is uh, I, i will tell about what is that this is the area of computer science and artificial intelligence that will be concerned with the introduction with the computers as well as the human language so human language will be just converted to the natural language in this area the goal of nlp is we are going to help the computers that is going to understand the different languages as well as as we are going to do how the human is going to understand the language the machine is needed to be fitted with the that uh, right content and the machine is going to understand the different natural languages it is going to uh, uh, driving the force behind things like uh, virtual assistant uh, speech recognition semantic uh, uh, analysis sentiment analysis automatic text summarization machine translation and much more these are the different application where the nlp the natural language processing will be applied and that uh, the uh, the different objective will be achieved this is the driving force while we are taking up this course 
रेगुलर डेफिनेशन इज ऑफ नेचुरल लैंग्वेज इज नेचुरल लैंग्वेज प्रोसेसिंग इज द इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस लिंग्विस्टिक्स एंड मशीन लर्निंग सो हियर वी आर यूजिंग द थ्री एरियाज ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस द लिंग्विस्टिक्स एंड मशीन लर्निंग मॉडल्स the field is going to focus on the communication between the computer and human language so in the natural language it is going to be converted overall to natural language nlp is all about making computers learn understand and generate human language from the natural language the applications of nlp techniques that is going to include uh, suppose uh, nowadays we are using amazon's alexa apple siri but also things like machine translations and text filtering that is also a application of natural language processing so these are the areas are there they are widely the natural language processing is has been used natural language processing has heavily benefited from recent advances in machine learning especially from the deep learning techniques why because the deep learning technique is going to understand the model correctly that is going to classify the different applications and we can achieve the better uh, we can say uh, we can uh, evaluate when we are going to evaluate that the machine is going to work correctly so the deep learning will be applied for that the field is divided into the three part first part we can say that is re speech recognition with the help of speech recognition the translation of the language can be happen so the translation of the different spoken language as well as um, if somebody is lively uh, some live application is there somebody is uh, the recording uh, uh, are there so that is also going to to be translated into the text so that is the first part the second part is natural language understanding in the natural language understanding a computer's ability uh, of to understand the different languages will be discussed the natural language generation the natural language generation the generation of natural language by a computer what are the different uh, levels are there that will be discussed in this field so these three fields are there in the natural language processing while we are going to um, we can say pre process those interdisciplinary field so basically the nlp is all about a new interdisciplinary um, field why because it is having the computer speech it is having the language processing it is having the human language technology or uh, we can say that is having the natural language processing or uh, we can say that is having the computational linguistics so that is overall a interdisciplinary um, language field is there so the goal of is to get the computers to perform well use uh, with the useful task involving the human language and that is going to enable and improve the hum uh, human and machine communication how the human is going to interact with the machine how it is going to achieve the objective so with the different application it will be achieved in the simple word we can say that natural language processing is simply doing useful processing of text uh, as well as for the speech so this is the main objective of this um, nlp a space or a con uh, conversational agent so uh, in uh, 90s the hal 9000 computer in stanley kubernetes uh, film in 2001 the space odyssey is one of the most recognizable character in 20th century cinema so that was the one type of natural language processor that has been used hl is an artificial intelligence capable of such uh, advanced language processing behavior as speaking and it is going to be understand the different languages so that was the one uh, type of application has been um, uh, uh, made and it it was detecting actually as a, a human language and understanding the different uh, natural language out of that and at a crucial moment in the plot even it is going to reading the lips also so that was for uh, that was the one type of conversational agent was there firstly used when nlp has been introduced Space Odyssey, the language which includes the understanding human via speech recognition and natural language understanding. 
so we can see it was uh, reading the lip reading also and uh, communicating with the humans via natural language generation and different synthesizers so uh, there uh, there were one, uh, one type of application that has been introduced in 90s that hl 9000 computer was there that has been developed as a natural language processing system in stanley kubrick film that is in 2001 that was the space odyssey one type of uh, recognizable characters in 20th century uh, that was introduced in, uh, basically in the cinema so that was actually uh, was an artificial intelligence an uh, agent that is capable of such advanced languages to understand the behavior of the persons how uh, the person is speaking uh, how uh, the, that uh, the machine is going to understand the uh, different uh, natural language so if they are speaking in english they are going to the machine was going to understand that and with the crucial moment in ty type it is also going to read the lip syncs of the persons so that was one type of natural language processing agent was developed the natural language which includes understanding between the human via speech recognition and natural language understanding that is of course uh, lip uh, reading and of communicating with the humans with the help of natural language generation as well with the speech synthesizers so synthesizers are also will be uh, used with the help uh, while we will going uh, the machine was going to communicate with the humans hcl would also need to able to do information retrieval finding out where the needed textual resources reside if the machine was having some source from uh, from anywhere the textual source were coming it was also going able to read that it was it was also doing the information retrieval it was also doing the information extraction where, where the extraction part is, uh, pertinent uh, facts from those uh, textual resources was coming so basically it was doing the retrieval extraction and it is going to give you the uh, inferences different rules so drawing conclusion based on their fact so machine was able to do uh, able to understand the different human language lip syncs as well as the uh, information retrieval and extracts out of the that uh, what are the different applications can be there overall so the applications we will consider are all of the needed for the agents like hcl as well as other valuable areas of natural language processing that can be the special spelling character grammatical correction it is going to check also the grammatical mistakes information retrieval and machine translation so these were uh, these are the four area that uh, can be there for the different applications web based question answering so that can be also one type of application of natural language processing it is a generalization of actually simple web search while we are typing the different words in the web search uh, uh, web searchers and, and web browsers and that is going to give you the uh, related results but here the simple web search will be there uh, that uh, that we have to write the questions and it is going to give you the answers where instead of just typing keywords so if we are not typing typing keywords also it is going to give the user um, the complete result uh, complete result even the user might ask complete question if uh, the user can ask is ranging from easy to hard like some questions can be there if the person is asking what does the divergent means so uh, the system is going to give you the answer out of that from the web browsers what year the abraham lincoln born how many states were in the us that year how much chinese silk was exported to england by the end of the 18th century what do scientists think about the ethics of human cloning so these are the few type of um, questions can be there the machine will be going to give you the answer when we are going to search on the web browsers so that was all about the introduction to natural language processing thank you for watching like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates